Hi muckers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, before we start this video, I just want to say something. First of all, <laughs> I went out last night at like 1am. I went out from like 1am to 6am and then I went grocery shopping at 7am. So I just went, <laughs> so I haven't slept. It's now 4pm the next day and I have not slept. So bear with me in this video, but I really want to sit out here and talk. So, but before we get into the video, I do just want to say, I was drinking this hot ass coffee and you know those like intrusive thoughts where it's like, you know, you could do something, you're not going to, but you could do it. For me, I was drinking this hot ass coffee and I was like, I could spit this all over myself right now. And like, what would it feel like? I was like, no, that's stupid. And then I literally did it. I mean, I stained a little part of my shirt and I burned down here on my arm. <clears throat> so just know that fighting my inner demons today. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about Shane Dawson. Now, I have not made a Shane Dawson video in a long time, which is interesting because the narrative is that Adam McIntyre is obsessed with Shane Dawson. Bitch, if I was, I'd be milking it more. Um, no. I haven't made a Shane video in a long time because it just felt, I'm going to be very transparent here, it just felt like it was Shane Dawson is back video, Shane Dawson's return video, Shane Dawson is back, Shane Dawson does this, Shane, like, and it was all, like, Instagram story or him hinting at coming back, and I'm like, how many videos are we going to make about Shane Dawson comes back, whatever, like, <laughs> we don't care, um, so I haven't made a video in a long time, and there's been Instagram stories, like, here and there and he's been in Rylan's videos constantly um so he's definitely closest to being online again than he's ever been in the past so if you're a Shane Dawson fan I guess he's coming back soon and I'm happy for you I guess I mean you've been through a tough year <laughs> trying to defend that man um but the thing is um in a recent video with Shane and Ryland um, they talk about that they're moving out of LA and their future and the possibility of their future. They are pretty much moving to Colorado, allegedly. And obviously we're seeing this trend with YouTubers moving out of LA, especially the problematic ones. You know, we've seen Jeffree Star move out of the LA lifestyle recently. And here's the thing. Now we make the jokes about Shane and Jeffree being like this all the time but jeffrey moved out of la to the complete opposite he's in a much smaller living space still very nice has his own farm star yak farm is it fucking jeffrey star Brood? who knows is it's very windy it's jeffrey trying to tell me to shut the fuck up is like this horse shit Jeffree Star approved? Is this pig shit Jeffree Star approved? We'll never know. I mean, I guess we will know. So it seems that Jeffree took that approach. And for me, that was a bit strange because Jeffree has always, you know, promoted the glitz and glamour. Now Shane is doing the exact same thing. Shane and Ryland are moving to Colorado and they posted a video in which they talk about moving and they basically were like, we don't think that we're gonna move, we don't really need to move, but if we love this house, then we will go into it. And they show footage driving up to the house viewing and it has like farm animals everywhere. It's very like rural. And it seems that they're going down the same approach with Jeffrey as in having their own farms. And um, I guess that's very weird personally because of Shane's track history looking after animals and I guess you can have your opinion you can come for me whatever like that but this is someone who has put online that you know they they had a kitten then they didn't have a kitten because of their lack of care Shane Dawson fans he put it out there and so I mean Ryland in the past has also talked about like wanting horses and wanting ponies and all this and, you know, I remember him and Shane had some sort of conflict because they were, like, arguing. Is this... I can't remember. There was, they were arguing about, like, where the horse should be, like, how big the enclosure sh er, should be. And it's just, like, this is what we're dealing with here. So, like, with Jeffrey, we're seeing that, you know, he's really throwing everything into the farm because everything else is failing. And with Shane and Rylan, we may see the exact same thing happen. But I just hope that they really take it seriously because having a farm is 
no fucking easy task. And if they're planning a YouTube comeback, if Shane's planning a big YouTube comeback, ha having your own farm while trying to, you know, make all of these documentaries is probably going to be a very big task. And the welfare of the animals comes first. So there's that. And in the video as well, they talk about that Morgan, Rylan Adams' sister, bought a house in Colorado near Rylan Adams' uh, family. Now, Rylan Adams' family live in Colorado. So the full thing is that they're moving from kind of Shane's life in LA, which they all kind of went into, and they all loved Rylan, into Colorado near Rylan's family, and Morgan will be living near them, and Morgan's near Rylan's family. And a lot of people are speculating that, you know, Shane and Ryan have put it out there that they're very much so hoping soon to have children. They've been talking about, like, baby clothes and stuff like that. So I guess we're going to have a bunch of little Shane Dawson's running around soon, which is not alarming at all. And that may be a possibility that people believe that in the past they've talked about Morgan being the surrogate. Like, yeah, like, housing the child for Shane and Ryland. Wait, does that mean that Shane, that's Shane's stuff in, okay, <laughs> I don't wanna think about that, <laughs> I'm not, my mind's not going there. Um, <laughs> I'm so disgusting, sorry. I mean, good for you, human anatomy, great. Oh no, actually, that's your, I mean in general, but like, not them to, oh, so I'm, I'm so tired, <laughs> so, it may be a case. Oh my god, it's like the fucking Wizard of Oz now. Jesus, this is Shane movie. Um, so it may be a case that they're gonna settle down. Can I ever see Rylan settling down? For someone who loves and talks about how much they love the LA scene and the stardom and fame and money, I, it would be weird seeing Rylan settle down, but I mean, he might prove us wrong. I'm sure he would if he's in an expensive ass house in Colorado instead of like a farmhouse, like straight up farmhouse. Um, but they may be having children soon. They may be in this new phase. You know, at the same time we talk, <laughs> I'm losing my voice, sorry, this is, <laughs> this is me belting out songs until 6 a.m. <laughs> it's coming back to bite me in the ass. Um, so <laughs> this may be, you know, Shane being on his break and he's been talking about, you know, coming back and not wanting to disappoint the fans and there will be something by the end of the year. He's been commenting on a lot of fan projects saying that, you know, I'm going to make you proud by the end of the year. So I guess something's coming before the end of the year. Yay. Um, so judging by that, Shane is coming back. However, this new lifestyle that they're going down may be a new direction where Shane has been gone for so long, maybe he realizes that he doesn't want to be involved in YouTube, doesn't need the drama, doesn't need this, he's made his money, he can release half-assed merchandise that's, you know, repeats of last year's collection, like this, and the same little sheep will eat it up. And, I mean, that's not a negative thing. Good for you, you know. He's been able to be offline for this time and still sell merchandise. And that is, you know, what is probably keeping him afloat. He has a lot of money, but that is something that's making the money go up as opposed to going down. <clears throat> Which is important whenever he's still paying taxes and he's still, you know, in huge money brackets and still has, you know, there's a lot involved. Um, so that's why there's been all these merchandise releases. Sorry, there's neighbor's cat going absolutely crazy. Um, love it. <clears throat> so I want to know what you're thinking in this new direction. A lot of people are jumping on that this is horrible. You know, I can't believe, you know, Shane is moving out of LA. Everyone just seems to, you know, take what they need from LA and move on. I honestly have an opinion of this that I'm like, you know, if they're going to move, if Shane and Ryland are going to move to Colorado, maybe it'll be the start of fresh beginnings. And now Shane has had so many chances, especially in the public sphere. But I mean, even mentally, like he's been reevaluating himself from what he's telling us. I don't really think he's doing that because he hasn't changed any of his business standards, only his like online standards. Maybe moving to a place where, you know, you're just surrounded by nature. You're not really in the online world. You're more reflective of what you're doing day in, day out yourself. Maybe that'll be good for him. You know, Jeffrey, ever since moving to Wyoming has 
kind of dropped being a YouTuber. He hasn't been posting makeup videos. He hasn't been posting tutorials. He hasn't been engaging online how he used to. And he talks about how he's so happy with his new life. And maybe this, you know, their besties, they literally only have each other. So maybe this is literally the path that Shane's gonna go down to where he's like, you know, I don't need YouTube anymore. I've got this. And if he's doing that, thank you. But no, if he's doing that, good for him. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna just punch down completely in this video. Like if he's gonna do that, that's probably the best thing for him um, and probably the best thing for us um, if he does that. So I'm seeing a lot of people get very, you know, angry that, you know, oh my God, he just, you know, made us believe that he wanted the LA life and moved out of it. Honestly, a lot of people are moving out of LA, more people than we even know. All of these creators are seemingly just tired of it, tired of the scene, tired of being involved in it. And now that's after being in it and being the negativity and being the toxic and being the worst in the world in that community or in that world of people for so long. It's like now you can like step aside because you were the like acid in it for years. Um, but even younger creators, we're seeing them not opt to go to LA because there's so many stories about, you know, not all of LA is bad, but you know, the social media scene of it is not the most place it's bad and that really reflects in people's work and mental state and just their being they've like just negative for us most of these social media people and i don't mean to just name drop and throw another person into the mix but la to me is kind of like i wouldn't even say tana mojo i would say nikita dragon almost like soulless just like an empty person in my opinion no shade an empty person who just does things for attention and seems to never be bothered. And I don't mean I'm unbothered, Queen. I mean, like, just never be bothered. That's kind of L.A. to me. And now I could kind of put Tana in that, too. But I don't know. I, I, Yeah, Tana would go in that. And so, honestly, I believe that these older generations are going to be, you know, mostly gone out of L.A. within the coming years. Most of them have property in L.A. They're probably going to sell that, get a shit ton of money, and then go somewhere smaller. So, thank you for watching this video. I want to know what your opinion is. Let's talk about it below. Thank you so much for watching. And yes, yeah, stay safe, stay well. And until my next video, I'll see you then. Bye.